Back again, back again YouTube and welcome back to the coding workshop and in today's video we're going to be installing Symfony YAML component as I mentioned at the beginning we're using YAML configuration files and again there was no real need to do that the point of using YAML is that we're exposing ourselves to different sort of technology that we can implement within our project there was nothing stopping me from using standard PHP configuration files but again you know this is learning and we sort of like want to get exposed to different technologies and see how they work and see how they integrate with our very own PHP so that's my reasons for using YAML and I'm going to use the Symfony YAML component because that will parse it down to regular PHP that our project can read so again we're introducing ourselves to new technologies implement it implementing it within php and we're just going to work with it because i quite like the yaml syntax it's it's nice it's clean it's precise um and it's again it's something that you guys can learn along the way so likewise what i said with external libraries we're going to be creating a wrapper class around this yaml component and rolling up rolling our own methods that's going to do what we need it to do so again we need to install that yaml component and i'm going to do that through my terminal so i'm going to open the terminal again i'm going to say composer uh, comp yeah composer require and it's called symphony yaml and that's going to install and if we again open up our composer.json file let's close that down you can see that we've got that Symfony YAML component within our project. So back in, well, you can see that I've already actually created a YAML config file pre in previous videos, but I want to actually put that within a directory. So I'm going to create a YAML directory within the main core directory. I'm going to say YAML and leave it at that. I'm going to drag this file within that YAML directory. Yep. Oh, it's gone somewhere else let's drag it down here so we need it there we go and you could tell that we've already started to we already created it and we implement well we put one method in but we're going to actually go ahead and build build out this class so we need to bring in those yaml or those symphony components so i'm going to bring them in right here so use symphony and it's component let's see if we could find it in this and let's just write it out component and it's yaml exception it's going to be parse exception and then we use symf use symphony component and it's yaml yaml just like that so again i'm going to um create some method and that's going to help us um sort of like get the yaml file in terms of our configuration file um there's going to be a method that parse that file back down to regular php arrays that that allows our code to actually recognize the configuration and do what it needs to do so the first method i want to create is a method that actually checks that we got that we actually got a file within that config directory and i'm going to call that method i'll make it a private method it will be private function is file exists right and all it's going to do is check that a file exists and if it doesn't we're going to throw an exception so I'm going to say if file or if file doesn't exist file name to throw 
a new base exception. I'm going to say something like file name concatenate does not exist. All right, so I'm just playing it safe. I'm going to pass in that argument, which is going to be a string, and it's going to be the file name. Right. So the next method I want to actually implement is a public method, and I'm going to name this get YAML. So I'm going to say public function get YAML. So this method is going to contain some PHP functions, and the first one I'm going to use is that glob function. And what that does actually, it sort of like find the path name matching a particular pattern and I'm going to wrap that into a for each loop because it returns an array so I'm going to say for each glob and it requires a directory so I'm going to actually um, declare a, co a couple of constants that we've not yet created but we know we're going to need these constant because they point um, to that configuration directory so I'm going to say config config path I'm going to use a directory separator which is called ds which is the next constant that we're going to create as well and the pa and the pattern that I'm going to search for is that asterisk dot yaml so what we're saying is within that directory we want to get all the files that's got a dot yaml extension and because it's returning an array we're going to say as file right and the first thing I want to do is actually check that that file exists and we're going to turn to our first method that we create is file exists so I'm going to say this is file exists and I'm going to pass that file in right here because we've got an array we're looping over it we're going to get each iteration of that file and check that it exists and the next PHP function I'm going to use is a function that's called parse URL and what this function does it sort of like takes in a path and it breaks it down into component and one of those components that we need is the path so I'm going to store that in a variable call I'm going to call it um, parts All right I'm going to say equal parse URL and it's going to be that file that we just iterate over or the YAML files that we've just iterated over then I want to get the path the path of that component and say path equal parts path just like that All right and the third PHP method we're going to use is a method called str pose or string position and what this does it, it finds the first occurrence of whatever string that we're trying to find which is going to be a string within this argument within this method so I'm going to say string and I'm going to call that YAML file right so I'm going to say if str position within that path within that path yeah comma YAML file isn't false then we want to do something so what we're saying is if we found a configuration file that we pass in through that get yaml method matches or part of that string matches something in our path then we've got that file so we want to return that yaml parse file and pass that yaml file in right that's it that's as simple as it gets in terms of getting that yaml file making sure that it exists breaking it down checking that it matches what we're passing in then return that parse return that yaml parse file method and passing in that yaml file um, argument from our method now there's one more method that that we that we need to create and this this file method and this is the method that we're going to be using within our application or within our within our main um, project files 
and it's a very simple method and all i'm going to do is return a new instance of this actual class that we're in, that we're in i'm going to say return and say new yamu config i'm going to say get yamu and the port pass in that yaml file that's it that yaml file is coming from this file argument passing it in it's going to do all of its checks right here and return um that pass yaml and that's as simple as it gets for our wrapping class which is going to contain this yaml parser for our, our application or project so we can then go ahead now and start creating some yaml configuration files and this actual class will take care of passing it down and ending our project a php equivalent of whatever config we've created so you know of our application can actually understand what we're doing so that's it for this small video hope you enjoy it please like share and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because the next part of this application or next part of this project is going to be coming up very shortly